Following six months of refurbishment and hard work, the Community Hub was formally opened on January the 21st, 2020 by the current Mayor, Jackie Barnes. Over 80 people attended the opening, funders, partners and other stakeholders, including local residents. On the day, we celebrated previous activities as well as looking towards the future. February half term, we did a Heroes versus Villains litter pick in the area where we literally were the heroes of the local area. We also had a family digital workshop with Wavemaker where we played with robots, controlled them and programmed them, which was great fun. We also had a treasure hunt in the area which started off at the community hub, went down to the canal, collecting clues and then back to the community hub. It was great. The project was set up to tackle loneliness and isolation within the community. So far we have had over 20 people attend the group from different age groups and different backgrounds. It has been nice to see the people who attend the group really come out of their comfort zone and develop a bond with each other. The men's group has also actively been involved in different middle pool matters projects such as litter picks and clean ups. My name's Aid. I first came to the men's club as I was isolated and came to the men's club to socialise with people in my area. Over the past few months, the men's club has given my confidence a big boost um, and I have met some really nice and sociable people on my journey with the hub. We've held 11 organised litter picks, engaged with 48 local residents and collected 109 bags of litter. We've also started our alleyway clean-up project and engaged with local residents to start making plans to transform local alleyways. Our litter picks have built on existing relationships with other local organisations such as Number 11, Saltbox Restart and St Paul's Church. We hope in 2021 to build on this and engage local businesses through our business support project. It's been lovely to see people come together and not only participate but enjoy cleaning up their local area. Two of our regular volunteers have said that they didn't expect to enjoy litter picking but really love it now. They said that it gives them a sense of purpose and really helps them to clear their minds. I've got three brilliant children that have been joining in in the Summer Street Games Challenge 2020 with Middleport Matters. They've had absolutely amazing time while they've been there. They've learned new skills, they've met new friends, social distancing applied of course, but the time that they have spent through this summer has been brilliant. We've had an amazing time this summer, so thank you to everybody who set this challenge up. 
We've had a great time. Thank you. During 2020, despite working within the national restrictions, Root & Fruit still held 20 community gardening sessions and four family gardening clubs. We started a new partnership with Saltbox Restart, who have found the allotment to be an important activity in the support that they have offered you in the difficult year. As we were unable to host our popular pumpkin party, we gave out our allotment grown pumpkins, along with activity packs to 20 families instead. We have also given out 32 Grow at Home packs to encourage families and individuals to grow at home whilst unable to visit us. Although the allotment has been tended by a much smaller group due in 2020, we have still distributed approximately 380 kilograms of produce to the local community.